Good morning, everyone. This is Charles McNamara, the Director of Operations and Guardian Group Services. You see the exit sign, you know, that's important, right? If there's an emergency, you need to get out. Uh, we'll talk about fire guard licenses in this episode, specifically FO1, what is it? FO2, where is it required? And FO3 and FO4, very popular in the security industry in New York, which are required in many locations. So let's take a look at what they are, how do you get them, what kind of tests you have to take in today's episode. All right, so in this video, we're gonna go over just some of the basic things that you need to know and understand to obtain an FDNY Certificate of Fitness. That's what they call the license. I know that term uh, makes people a little nervous, like, wait, fitness, I gotta work out for this uh, test? No, that's just what they call it. It's called a Certificate of Fitness, and it's issued by the New York City Fire Department. So the best place to get the information, obviously, is going to be directly from their website, which is listed here. Links and everything will be in the description if you need that assistance. Um, so when you Google FDNY Certificate of Fitness, it'll land you on this page. And you can see a list of all certificates of fitness by clicking this link here. You'll also get access to every single license that the New York City Fire Department offers. And for today, what we're gonna focus on is FO1, FO2, FO3, and FO4. So the very first one that you see listed, highlighted here, F01, that is a citywide fire guard license for impairments. I'm just gonna click on this. Uh, talks about you know where it's required. Basically, you need an FO1 whenever there is an impairment on the system, okay? So anytime your sprinklers are impaired, standpipe is impaired, or the fire alarm system, um, that's called an impairment, and you must have someone with the F01 fire guard license. Uh, we're not gonna get too much into like the square footage, but um, the magic number to remember is, you know, one fire guard for every 50,000 square feet gonna be on the test make sure that you memorize that uh, we'll talk a little bit about the fo2 that is the fire guard for shelters that also is a citywide license so if you are working in a shelter you will need the f02 fire guard license now we'll talk a little bit about fo3 and fo4 listed here uh, if they're kind of the same exam but it's a little different. Uh, the FO3 is for indoor place of assembly, and FO4 is temporary indoor and outdoor places of assembly. Um, so when you think large gatherings, like uh, let's just say, for example, City Field, if you're a New York Mets fan, or the Yankee Stadium, if you're a Yankee fan, right? Big stadiums, big places where people assemble, you need the FO3, FO4, you might have a temporary event in those locations. Maybe it's just out on the field. Um, it's a one-day thing. That's it. It's over. Um, so those, you know, kind of the same. I'm going to read through the study material. Um, you can also have a temporary setup. Maybe you're doing an event in Central Park or Prospect Park or down by the seaport. You might need an FO3 or FO4. So each one is its own separate exam. So if we were to go to the FO1, you can learn more about applying, operating, and renewing a certificate of fitness. And I'm just gonna go over the general information here. I will let you do a little research on your own, looking through uh, the material. But the FO1 is required when you have an impairment on the sprinkler, standpipe, and fire alarm system. Now we'll talk a little bit about the FO2, the fire guard for shelters. This is a pretty straightforward one. Uh, shelter can be a regular structure or in use for emergency situations such as disasters. Very simple to read through the material and then take the exam at the New York City Fire Department. 
One thing to note with shelters, you will also have someone else who works there with a different license called the F80. Uh, the F80 is the coordinator, F02 is the fire guard license. All right, this section is gonna talk about the F03 and the F04 place of assembly safety personnel. Um, and we have what's known as a TPA, which is a temporary place of assembly and a PA, which is a place of assembly. Uh, same thing on the website, when you click on here, it'll take you to the page to get all of the information and study materials. I'm just gonna navigate through this because it's the same for all of them. Study materials are listed here. It will go into the topics, the duties, the responsibilities, portable fire extinguishers, inspections, etc. Now when you're ready to go and take your exam, you will have to go to 9 Metro Tech in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, when you arrive, you're going to have to check in. You can pre-register, which will save you some time. You can upload your documents and forms. You can make your payment in advance, and it's highly recommended that you do that in advance. Alright, so some important things to remember when obtaining a certificate of fitness. The FDNY headquarters is open Mondays and Friday, 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. All applicants must bring government-issued photo ID. It must be valid ID, a driver's or non-driver's license, passport, to enter the headquarters. Uh, most of the exams at the fire department are $25. They do not take cash. Uh, they can do credit card, they can do debit card, a check or money order, but cash is no longer accepted at that location. Uh, so good luck everybody. Hopefully this information was helpful for you in obtaining a certificate of fitness. Don't forget to check us out. We have a lot of fire guard prep classes and we have an app that you can download to help you study for those exams. So there you have it. We talked a little bit about FO1, FO2, FO3, and FO4. If you're interested in taking a prep class with Guardian Group Services, you can do that by booking the class online at www.guardiangroupservices.com. We look forward to having you there and helping you meet all of your training needs.